we're just getting rolling for the day. It was very cold last night. It's still very cold this morning. All of our water bottles are frozen. And all the rest of our drinks are frozen, <laughs> except for these. Cheers. It's gonna be a good day. Uh, we're gonna go look to see where some bulls are. We don't know how many are gonna be shed already. Probably not very many. It's the last weekend in February, so we're a little bit early, but we just wanna go see where the bulls are hanging out so we know where to, where to hit in the next couple weeks. But we're out here three days. We got today, tomorrow, and Monday. most of Monday. Yeah. And then we'll drive home. <clears throat> so it's gonna be fun. There's a skiff of snow. I'm sure North Slopes will have a little bit more, but not too bad. It's cold, we're both bundled up. But as soon as we get going, I think we'll be all right. We're gonna pick up sheds. We're going to uh, have fun. So it's all that matters. 2022, here we go. Round town. All right, so update for the day. Brian's on a different ridge and we're glassing across this canyon. I glassed up a deadhead. It looks big. Um, <clears throat> but I kept glassing because the canyon's pretty gnarly and I didn't know if I wanted to go over there. So I was like, eh. If I glass up another shed, um, then I'll go, I'll go over there and get it. So I kept glassing and I glassed up a giant bull, like 370 plus, like he's big. So I tried to get Brian on him. Brian um, found a big bull and he, he was explaining to me what the bull was doing and it wasn't what I, what the bull that I was seeing was doing. So anyway, we got two giant bulls over there, eight bulls total two giants like the bull he glass is probably 350 um the bull that i saw was a little bit bigger so they're right they're a couple hundred yards above where that deadhead is so i'm not even gonna go get it i'm just gonna watch these bulls and see what they do but it's a good sign found I think one or two and just found this old deer shed. Oh my gosh it's old. Dude what a stud though. That would have been a stud. He's heavy. Alright well that's cool. On the board. Alright little update group of eight bulls that we were watching they moved out of the draw so I've never moved across the canyon to go check out this dead head and, and I glassed up another shed so I'm gonna go get it too but just coming up to it looks big it looks old though I'm gonna flip this around that's not even that big super old broken yeah I don't know if I'm gonna hike that out of here but it's cool two years old cool first one of 2022 i'd take a pack full of those all right don't know how many of these i'll get today so i wanted to take advantage but what's your plan right now cool bull <laughs> probably not quite hard white but Definitely take this one. 
All right, day two. Uh, it's probably our coldest shed hunt ever. It's It's been really cold. Um, we did okay yesterday. CJ did okay. I picked up just scraps pretty much. But they were technically shed, so three and three is what we got. Uh, we're going to try a new area. This is part of just trying new areas. Uh, we'll give it all we got see what we can find today. But hopefully we warm up. Yeah, we put on about nine miles each yesterday and some rougher stuff. Yeah. So for the first shed hunt of the year, we're pretty sore. Yeah. Hips and Every, legs and everything. <clears throat> well, we'll go give it a Give it all we got today. All right, so I'm walking this canyon down the bottom, and looks like we got a pretty decent cat. Look at that. Dude, that's a big cat. I mean, this is my glove. All right, so we've been hiking all morning. CJ and I, second day, haven't found anything. And sight for sore eyes, I tell you. Look at that bull. That is awesome. Um, God, we just can't figure it out. We've seen, we've seen a lot of bulls, but we haven't found any hard whites or chalk really a whole lot. But that is a good bull, and I'm pretty pumped. It's really my first shed of the trip the other three were dinks all right oh, it, oh it's a little bit older than i thought god it's a big bull on his face ginormous that sucker is just a giant giant base but i'll take it i'm excited look at, look at that thickness it's pretty awesome well it's good. It feels good to be on the board. It's been a frustrating day until now. Look at that, dude. Are you kidding me? In the road, fresh tracks. Oh, how good does that feel? Feels really good. That's a good bull. Yeah. Got a good third. A little short on his fronts, but what a... Well, what? Brown of the year, though. God. In the road. We're just driving to a new spot. And got lucky. We have super lucky. done an incredible job with scouting, so we have an idea how many bulls are out here, and ooh, that's kind of the main part of the trip. We were hoping to pick up a little bit more hard whites and maybe a few chocks if we got lucky. But uh, look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> Day three, we haven't filmed a lot. It's been a little frustrating. I mean, We've seen bulls. We've seen a lot of bulls, more than I care to even tell you about. But um, just haven't picked up sheds, haven't picked up old sheds. So it's been very confusing to see that many bulls and not find last year's or the year before, you know. But uh, day three, we got into some new area again and probably an hour into the hike. Just a little raghorn. It might go hard white, a couple years old. But, man, it's nice to just see them and pick them up where you think your shed should be. It's, it's a pretty good feeling. So hopefully we find a couple more. Walk up on this one. Big freaking hanger in the sage. I'm pretty pumped about it. It's for sure hard white last year. So that's good to know that they're actually in here. We've been wondering. So, looks like a big shed. Color. I'm 
freaking pumped on that one. That made the trip right there. I haven't even started looking to see if the other side's close. I hope it is somewhere down in this little sage draw. But I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> One of the most incredible things that just happened to me. Uh, I don't have a single shed, it's day three. I am beyond pumped. So I sat down to glass this opposite side of the canyon and I could hear, I could hear something walking through, walking through. So I got up and probably 30 yards away, uh, I could, I could hear it was getting closer and I got my camera out. I got video footage of this bull, one side already shedded. Uh, and I watched him as he kind of went down through here and down the canyon. And I watched him, watched him. He got to the other side and guess what? The single was gone and I just found it. <laughs> oh, I'm so pumped. All right, so just trying to find his track. There's his track right there. A little bit more of a skiff of snow. There's his track right there, track right there. And look at it. That is so awesome. Brown 2022. <laughs> First shed. Brownie of 2022. Oh my gosh, look at that. G2 split, seven point brown. Oh. oh, it just smells so good. And just such a bloody base. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, that just made my trip. Honestly, I didn't think we'd find CJ found one yesterday. I didn't think I didn't think I'd find one and honestly, I mean He had one side so the other one could be up there somewhere but I'm just stoked to find one like a good brown So something incredible just happened again Brian came to the edge of this little bench looked down and there's a shed laying there big white um, thought it was a hard white but it's a couple years old I kind of walked down a little bit and looked back about a hundred yards back up the ridge and see tines sticking up and I think it might be the match to the big shed that I picked up earlier but I can't tell that's a freaking good shed oh it's hard white that is a good shed It's been chewed on quite a bit. The burrs chewed on. It's dished out right here, like that other shed. It's hard to tell until I put them together. That's awesome. I like how his fifth curves up. Look at that curve. Yeah. Third is like chewed on big time. Mine's chewed on too over there. Headed back to camp. We've been at it for two and a half days. We're going to kind of cut it a little early and didn't really expect to find it but oh yeah they're so fun to find and there's the other side see Jake has barely found this but he figured it out it's a good bowl man yeah. Heavy with mass, so he's probably been three years out here. You think? No, two maybe. Yeah, he's got that weird. Like, Still got color on the back. Yeah, he does. Got that weird chalky. Yeah. Okay, first trip of 2022 is in the books. Found a few sheds, actually a few browns. Got lucky. Um, found this one in the road. Brian watched, basically watched that bull shed that one side. We could never find the other side, but 
and found some hard whites, a um, few sheds that are a, year, a couple years old, but had a pretty good trip. The main point of this trip was to go see where the bulls were hanging out, and we definitely saw that, so we have a good idea of where to go um, in the next two, maybe three weeks, and try to go pick up some, some more brown sheds. So It just feels good that we're on the board for 2022 with both of us taking a brown. I mean, it's a little early, but we came, came here with that understanding that we probably wouldn't, but it's just extra bonus for us. So that's the wrap up of the video. Catch you on the next one.